Royal Vibe Studios. And welcome, welcome to the UFC recap, UFC 273, the Red Crew. First of all and foremost, thank you to everybody. We were actually yes. pleasantly surprised. Yes. We tried different avenues. We tried different platforms. We tried Instagram. We tried Twitch. Twitch. We tried TikTok. Uh, which some people did show up there. So if you showed up there, thank you very much. But the one that actually showed the most, you know, results, the one that went the best for us, the one where the one where we were able to have the most fun in was TikTok. Thank you to everybody that interacted with us. We had a couple conversations. That was the point, you mm -hmm. know, to be able to make sure no matter where we're at. You know, you're watching the fights with your boys, you know, having fun, talking about That's what we're things. doing here, man. Yes, that's what we're doing. Talking about, we talked about Vikings. <laughs> yeah. We, we talked about walkout songs. We obviously talked about the fights. Yes, that we did. Uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. I think, I think uh, at the top, it said we had around 6,000. 6,000 what? 6,000 views. In total? In total? Yeah, so 6,000 people plus clicked views. on our video. Came in and out, yeah. 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 Cool. We had, we, uh, obviously, and we had some consistent ones, which is what, what we're looking for. So hopefully everybody is, is you know, moved over from TikTok and is yeah. now following us and is subscribing to us. Yeah. And With that being said, yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe button here on this channel. Go ahead and leave down the comments if you can from TikTok, can from Instagram, can from Twitch, or if you're just your first time watching us. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead to Instagram and TikTok at the, uh, the Right Crew Podcast and hit that like button, hit that uh, follow button on there as well. All right. So uh, if you're only here for UFC, also know that, you know, on a weekly basis, we do podcasts about absolutely nothing, meaning yep. anything that happened during the week in pop culture, whether it was Will Smith hitting Chris Rock, whether it was Jorge Masvidal hitting Kobe Covington, whether it was the war in Ukraine, whether it's whatever. Whether, whether it was it's Pete Davidson, Danny Pete Kim Kardashian. Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian, whatever it is. Uh, we we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna add our spin to it. We're gonna add our expertise, which is really none. Stop coughing. I'm sneezing. Focus, uh, messing things up. Lu Luis is gonna do things like that all day. He's gonna. I got allergies. It's allergy season. He's gonna look a lot more uncomfortable than this a lot. So you're gonna you're gonna get a lot from us. But today is gonna be strictly UFC UFC 273. That's what it is. So uh, normally in UFC it's very top heavy. Like the top of the card is like the strongest. Yes. This this card was very consistent. Yeah. You know the second, third, All and good fourth fights. fight were were probably the ones that we didn't really know, even though we expect there was a surprise, which is always good to have in UFC. You know something that we didn't expect, but uh, we're we're gonna just uh breeze through the first two. The first one was Mark Madsen versus Vince uh Vince Pichel, which wasn't a bad fight. It was uh. I believe kind of close, even though it ended up being a it ended up being a unanimous decision because uh, Madsen won the the third round and apparently he had won the run, first round uh, easily. I I only watched the second and third round, mm -hmm. uh, but it was a unanimous decision where Madsen won. Uh, the fourth uh, the fourth the second fight of the night, uh, Mackenzie Dern fought uh, Tisha Torres. Tisha Torres. Uh, which was a pretty decent fight. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. And I, I do know t Torres. I do know Mackenzie Dern. <clears throat> it was a styles clash. Like, uh, Tisha Torres is a striker. She she wants to be on her feet. She wants to pressure you. She wants to kick you. She wants to hit you. She wants to punch you. Mackenzie Dern is jujitsu. She's going to mm -hmm. be on you. She's a backpack. She's a female out Jermaine Sterling. <laughs> like, she, she wants to be on you. She wants to pressure you. And she did that. Uh, but it was a split decision. Mackenzie yeah. Dern got it. Tisha Wait. Torres did a good job, though. She Tisha did a good Torres job came back defending that knee. Round. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that she, knee lock. Ooh, she was that, not, that, that knee Kimura. lock and the Kimura. The she, Kimura was under for a good two, three minutes, if not longer. It was a wow, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. she survived it. I think not that only was, was she do, round or first round? it was first it was a first round, and she was holding her up with her because she was standing up. Yeah. She was holding up against the cage for the whole time. Eventually, they were dead going out to the ground, but I don't know how she got out of it. But she got out of it. The reason it was a split decision, I don't know which one of the rounds, but in one of the rounds, uh, again, Mackenzie Dern was all over. Uh, Torres. Tisha Torres. But Tisha Torres, after the scramble, ended up on top. So I'm guessing one of the judges kind of gave her that round for ending okay. up on top. I don't know yeah. if I necessarily agree kind with of that. that control. Uh, over the control right, right. she ended up on top and, and got some hits in but nothing significant and the third round was all Tisha Torres Tisha Torres 
Uh, she like yeah. body yeah. kicked her from the ground. I think that affected her. Yeah. And then she just put the pressure on, but it wasn't enough. McKenzie Duren got the um, split decision. Now, from like what where the card got really good. Oh, that Gilbert Burns. The best fight of the night, in my opinion. Yes. Gilbert Burns versus Hamsha Shemaev. In uh, I I told Luis and I told some of y'all that were following the stream with us. Uh, I feel like Gilbert Burns won, was winning the first round. I agree. Was winning the first round with about a minute left in the first round. Hamza Shemaev catches Gilbert Burns coming in with a jab. It mm -hmm. wasn't a hook. It wasn't a straight. It wasn't an overhand. Nothing like that. It was a jab. He caught him in with a jab right on the chin. Right on the chin, it it buckled, it hurt, it dropped Gilbert Burns, and then he got on top and just went on the ground and pound, opened up a big huge gash, cut, yeah, on his forehead, big gash on his forehead, which you know also helps for aesthetics, helps for you know the people, it, it can influence some judges when you see somebody's face full of blood, and it was clearly a round um, that went through Casman, Hamza. Uh, second round, it's second round, yeah, absolutely. And there was no doubt about that. No, doubt. the second round, Burns had the whole round. Um, he he got him and he almost won too because he rocked him. He, he almost it looked like he might yeah. have finished. Um, Hamza Samayev, there, I think that's why we thought it might have been a, a draw because we thought that one that second round was going to be a, a there 10 could have been a chance of a 10 8. Yeah, it was, it was, I think. Definitely the, the work that, that Gilbert Burns put in the second round was more significant than the work Hamza put in the first that, round. Yeah. What is a 10-8? What's that mean? A 10-8 round is where... Because is that UFC is fairly new, right? Yeah. We're talking, what, 20, 25 years old? Yeah. So, uh, in hi historically, the, the combat, sports, combat sport of, of, of the mainstream has been boxing. Yeah. So, in boxing, it's very simple. If I knock you down... That's a 10-8. If I knock you down again, 10-7. If I knock you down again, 10-6, whatever. Okay. Every knockdown, you know. You lose it, a point. The, the opponent leaves a point. you Or you win a point, put it that way. But the, as high as you can go is 10. Okay. So, they kind of, uh, uh, since it's so fairly new, like, the same judges that judge MMA uh, or judge MMA or in the UFC, Bellator, 1FC, everything, uh, PFL, all of those things. Are a lot of them are boxing judges because they use the same commissions. Like you still got to be sanctioned by the state of that commission. Right. Oh. There's not, and that commission is sanctioning for combat sports. Yeah, they're not com They're not sanctioning for, for, M yeah, for MMA only, yeah. right. or or for boxing. They're they're sanctioning for combat. Yeah. So they use the same judges, and they use essentially some of the same rules. So, but in MMA is different. You can't just if I knock you down, it's not just a ten. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to damage you. I have to hurt you. I have to dominate you to that point. Hit you and that causes you Usually to fall Usually 10 down. is going to be around where you think you think it's one over. Sided. Yeah, you think it's, it's going to be over. Completely one sided. Oh, okay. Which I don't think it was completely one sided, but it, but was, it was close enough. One -sided. Yeah, it's close enough. So that's where that <laughs> doubt was. Then we move on to the third round. Where Hamza hurt yeah. Gilbert in what the first minute, minute and a half, mm -hmm. and hurt him where for about twenty seconds we thought that that fight might end. Yeah, right. yeah. That that Hamza was gonna get the finish, but then Gilbert came back, and and he started bringing his onslaught, and he kind of turned the tide. But I do think that if I'm judging that last round, I think Hamza won that round. I think. I, I would agree with that. He was closer to finishing the fight. But well, I think the judges would agree with that as well because, I mean, that's what they uh, they gave the fight to, to Hamza. Yeah. Uh, what it, what's crazy is that that wasn't a split decision. That kind of shocked me. Yeah, I thought that would have been more or of a was split. it a split decision? No, I think it was. Yeah, no, that was a split decision. No, no, that wasn't a split no, decision. No, yes, it was. I think it was. I think they said yeah, it was a split decision. Uh, I can say it right here. Unanimous decision. Unanimous? 29-28, 29-28, Then which one was the Sterling one? The Sterling one was the ah, okay, decision. Okay. Yeah, but uh, Hamza <coughs> Semaev was a unanimous decision where everybody saw it the same way. And uh, we were talking to somebody on the on the stream. I forgot his name. Julian. Julian. Thank you, Julian. He thought that, that, that Burns won. E.T., who's not here tonight, he thought that Burns won. Like... I'm, I don't under, I don't know what round they I think that they were putting a lot of 
merit into that second round. But <coughs> it gets it gets judged by round. Like, right, right. It, it's, you don't judge an overall fight. You judge round by round. So Did E.T. order fucking pay-per-view while he's on vacation? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So uh, that's that's pretty much what, what happened on that fight. It was a hell of a fight, though. Yeah, that would... I mean, we're yet to see what Dana White says, but it probably was going to be the fight of the night. That, I, I would think it was going to be fight of the night. I think that's probably the fight of the night. Bonus. That's probably the fight of the night. Definitely, the, those two guys are getting a bonus. Yeah. Um, then we move on to the what we thought was going to be a wash. At least I'll speak for myself. Yeah, I, I mean, and I, th- I speak. I think you can speak for most people, though, because a lot of people, including me, thought that Sterling was going to lose because in the first fight, whatever it was of the first fight, Peter Jan was dominating dominating Do- like, not, not even like it, it was okay it was great no, he was dominating the whole for was that first round of the first fight it, i think it went four rounds three or four rounds whatever it was. however many rounds it did go he was dominating mm-hmm. and and you can see sterling had no answer for everything he was giving him absolutely none Th- this fight i mean it was completely the opposite way not only did he have an answer but he was taking it to yawn i think we agreed that the first round was it could have gone to either one second and third was definitely starting because it certainly had control absolutely. for the whole yes. round and then the the fourth and fifth round was yawn absolutely I, the first round is where we said at uh, whoever takes the first whoever round whoever the first judges round get win. the first round to is going to be the one who wins which shocked me a little bit that 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 sterling won like he hit him with a lot of body kicks yes which it, it, I'm not saying it was a robbery. I don't think it was a robbery at all. I I felt like maybe Jan won because he was definitely pressuring the most. And he must have hit him, but he hit him with a lot of body kicks. Mm-hmm. A lot of body kicks. And after after we're done recapping the fights, we're going to talk about what's next for every fighter. But that was kind of interesting to see where these guys are going to go next. Like, Because it's, it's still kind of sketchy because... There's definitely going to be a, a a third fight. There has to be a third yeah, fight. Yeah, now I don't think it'll be immediate. Oh no 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 no. Now, well, who did Sterling call out? TJ Dillashaw. Yeah. That's, that's the next fight. But we'll talk about that after we recap the the last fight, which there's not much to recap about. Yeah. Uh, Alex Alex Volkanovski just ran through. Yeah. Ran yeah. through the Korean zombie. We were hoping for maybe another upset with the Korean zombie because we saw the upset with Sterling. And Sterling did a great job. He was definitely the under the underdog. Everybody thought he was going to lose. He was there. He was definitely not in the batting favors. The fact that he came out, he came out with that just intensity. He they were in all five rounds, and he won. We thought. Well, maybe zombie could do something like that too. I didn't think that shit. Hey, no, you I, didn't I, think that thing about Sterling either. Yeah, but I okay. did. I did. I thought, you know what? I, I'm always an under, underdog kind of guy. So I didn't I even thought, think that about Masvidal, and I love him. Like I, I didn't. Hey, think. Wait, during the Masvidal fight, you were. Wh- what were we gonna do? We we're gonna shock uh, the okay. world, baby. Okay. Hey, the second <laughs> fight, we're gonna shock the world. I'm telling you. <laughs> Actually, third because it's one and one now. It's one and one. <laughs> it's one and one. The first one was in Vegas. The second one was in Florida. We got that one. <laughs> and now the trilogy. I, we're gonna shock the world. Uh, but uh, no, man, it was Volkanovski was just I don't he know. was on another level, so much quicker, so Faster, much quicker, stronger. so much technical, so, so much more on point. Yeah. I, he, there's no way he was gonna. It was a matter of time. If anything, we give it to Zombie for having the heart that he did and sticking to it because he didn't get knocked down, he didn't get knocked out. He it, it was a technical knockout because the ref the ref stopped it because he was getting his fucking yeah, ass beat. Yeah, and he. I think they said it like that's why they call him the zombie because he can just keep going and going and going yeah. even after getting kicked, even after getting hit, even after getting wobbled and getting stopped. Yeah, he's durable. He has heart, but what? And that that's only going to last you so long. That's yeah, man, he was just standing there getting his ass beat after a while. Yeah. So yeah, that was the recap of the fights. Now we're gonna talk about what we think is next for each fighter. So okay. let's start with the top three fights. Hamza Shemaev has to fight the winner of Leon Edwards, Kamar Usman. There's no really other guy because Kamar Usman has beaten all of them. He can be, he can fight Covington again. Hamza fought Covington. Oh no, Hamza fighting Covington. Oh, he can, yeah. That that's not a bad call. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wasn't he caught? Yeah. Uh, you're right. Because I don't think they're gonna give him Usman. 
If he beats Covington, they gotta give him Usman. Oh yeah, but I don't think they're gonna give him Usman next. It depends. When does Usman fight? It depends on when Usman fights. You gotta. Does he have a fight schedule? I don't think he has. He hasn't scheduled because he he has to get surgery. He's hurt. Oh okay. Then so, they're, they're definitely not gonna give him Usman. Yeah, Usman's fighting Leon Edwards. Uh. So you're right. It's probably. I think it's Covington. It's probably. Uh, we get Leon Edwards too because we forgot Leon. Mm-hmm. They already fought once. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, Leon Edwards two UFC two seventy eight. When is this? July. Yeah, that's a lot of time. That's two months. Yeah, well, and, and probably within the same card. No, well, let's be honest. The timing is right. The timing is right for because Usman and and, and Hamza, and Hamza? can't fight right after. Exactly, so he'll probably fight sometime in July. But he in can June, fight July, in six seven months. Hamza? Yeah. I think that's going to take but, uh, anyway. How much does has a quick turnaround time, though? Yeah, yeah but he's never fight, had a fight like this. How long? Right now, it's April. Right now, it's April. In July, that could be another fight. And, and Covington just fought last month. So, I don't yeah. think they'll be fighting earlier than October. Oh, and they could. It could. could. I mean, could be on the same card as Kamaru, Usman, and, and Burns. Or, but what's the difference between October and December? Like... No, uh, we're talking about July. Cause but if you fight in July, you can fight in December. Mm, yeah, you're no. That, I'm not saying you can't. Obviously, if you can fight, if you can fight the earlier fight, you can fight the later on, later fight. But what I'm saying is that you fight uh, Covington in July, and then in December. Oh, he can't fight in July. This guy can't fight in July. You don't think he'll fight in July? He can't fight in July. Why not? And Co- Covington can't fight in July. They just both just went through five round fights. The guys who the guys who fight. Uh, that quick, they don't fight five rounds. They fight one round. They they're in camp. They didn't take like at, even though he, he needed that rest time after he fight. clearly no, beat Masvidal, but he got rocked in the chin. He got kicked. Right, in the knee. I see, like I see, I see. he has to deal with a lot of things. So then definitely, yeah, in December. Uh, I think the uh, I think the 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 sooner they can fight, uh, the the more they're they're gonna do. But give me one second. Uh, what you call it? Uh, I don't think that Covington or Hamza can fight in July. Okay, I think then, the, the, then we'll, we'll do it for. I think October is when they can fight. And but if, and I think if they do it in December, it could be Burns. It could be uh, Burns or Usman. Yeah, exactly. And because Covington can fight Burns, because let's be honest, Burns right, lost right, right. no stock. No, right, no, absolutely not. Burns lost no stock, and Hamza can fight Usman. Or he can fight Covington if you can do because we don't even know if 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 go to him. we don't even know if uh, Usman is gonna fight after this he may retire like so you kind of have to have why would he because the guy how old is he he's he's up there he's thirty something L- late thirties probably mid thirties and he's up there. And but right now he's at his prime. He is at his prime. Uh, but I don't know why. Who is to keep fighting the same guys over and over? And over. I mean that's what. <laughs> but he hasn't fought Hasma yet. Yeah, but let's say you get by him. Like, what's the risk? Risk to reward? Is that the problem with with? I think the only fight he that gives him money he doesn't want. The Which is the Adesanya fight. He doesn't okay. want to go up there, right? So you don't. Th- I, I see. I see your point. I see your point. And Hamza Semaev, who's been, it's a good <clears throat> fight. We all want to watch it, but it's not going to be the mainstream like everybody, right, right, right. where the Rock is tweeting about it. And all right, right, right. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be a money fight. Exactly. It's not going to be a money fight. Even, even I think, even I think the money train with Masvidal is gone because there's no allure to it. There's not right, really like, a. Beast everybody game. knows he's going to. Everybody yeah. knows he's going to win. There's not really a personal issue there anymore. Right, right. Everybody knows that they are gonna talk shit to each other, but everybody knows it's really fake. Right, right, right. There's not, there's not th- because even back then, even though we found out it was fake, there was like, do they really not like each other? Is it really personal? Right, right. Things like that. We know right now it's not personal. It's it's purely the sport. I think that's why I believe more in the Covington Masvidal too, because that's still there's still right, a right, personal right, right, right. thing there, a beef. And, and things like that. So that money train. But even even in that fight, you know. You know what's gonna happen. But exactly. you're you're gonna tune in for the for the for everything around. Yeah, everything before the actual fight. You're gonna believe everything before everything around. Right, it. Right, right. 
you're not gonna believe that with 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 Usman. So it's like, what's the risk reward? So, but obviously, if he does fight, I don't see what's the point of him fighting Covington again. There's not. I mean, there's not. What's the point of him fighting Masvidal again? There's not. What the? I would. uh, For him, I think the only point for fighting Masvidal would be the money. money, Yeah. Uh, What's the point of fighting Burns again? Well, it, it all depends. If he loses this one. He has to fight him again. That's going to be a trilogy. No, if, who? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of Edwards. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh yeah. No. If he if he loses to Edwards, he fights Edwards again. That makes yeah, more yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. But I don't see how the hell he loses to Edwards. <laughs> so it's like that those things. So I think Burns, Burns Covington makes sense to me. I think Covington wins that. Uh, I don't see Hamza beating Usman or or Covington. I really don't. After today. I feel like Covington and Usman are above Burns, and this yeah, fight was very close. Yeah, and I think I think we both agreed. I mean, he he did a great job against Burns, um, but it was very very close. But yeah, it, it was very close. He's, I mean, uh, th- there's no doubt he's never faced somebody like him. That caliber of fighter is definitely to a different level, and he has to mature a lot more as a fighter to be able to take on the the likes of of Covington or likes of Usman. Not only that, and I don't think it's a coincidence that. Guys like Masvidal, Burns, uh, those guys are having so much trouble. Of course, not just because they're better. Guys like Masvidal and Burns, they fought at 155 for a long time, mm. meaning they made 155 relatively, not with ease, but they made it. Right. And constantly. I don't think neither one's, uh, I think Burns missed weight. But like they, they fought at 155, meaning Usman will never make 155 in his life. Mm-hmm. And... Covington says he can do it. He's never done it. So it's like those guys are 170 guys. Like they're right, legit right, right, right. 170 guys. You saw the difference today. Burns doesn't look like a legit 170. Mm-hmm. You can tell that if he wanted to drain himself, he can make 155. Yeah. Uh, Hamza has fought at 185. Like he's not making 155. There's a size difference right, there. Right, right, right. When you go and you fight. Uh, Covington and Usman, there is no size difference. Those mm-hmm. guys are your size. Correct. They might be a little smaller, but they're they're not one fifty five ers. So your argument is that that Burns was a potential one fifty five. Uh, he he fought at one fifty five. Like for okay, so lot. so Burns is a one fifty five contender. Like yeah. he could be gonna keep fighting at one fifty five. So exactly, exactly. Yeah, he's a smaller one seventy. Co- you seen Covington? Covington's a big guy. Both him and Usman. Have you seen Usman? Guys. Usman is just ripped. Like ripped I, in every sense of the word. He's muscular, I know big, and buff. believes Covington when he says he can make one fifty five. I'm not sure. I do. The guy is very tall. Yes. The guy is very yes. tall. He's not scrawny by any means. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt in saying that Usman's a lot more uh, shredded than Kobe Covington. He's Co- shredded. Kobe, 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 Kobe Covington has a lot more fat to lose, potentially, exactly. than Usman. So I, I can t- I can I can agree with what you're saying about Usman. Usman is definitely never going to make 155, never. but Covington has the potential might, to maybe. But his but, yeah. his size, how yes. tall he yes. is, affects it, it, it. It's going to yes. make it uh, that he can. I don't think there's a doubt about that that he would ever actually try to deplete his body enough to make 155, I don't no. think he would do that. And to be honest with you, I don't think Covington wants the, the Usman fight. I don't think Covington is dumb. No. I don't think Covington, because that would affect his legacy. Yeah. Because uh, now you can still, even though I think most people believe Usman's better than him, uh, Covington fighting Usman will prove that if, if a guy beats you three right, times. Right, right. It's un- undisputed. It's undisputably undisputed. he's better than you. Yeah. Now, him and I believe that him versus Adesanya, I believe he has a chance. I really believe he has a chance. The Cubby? pace, yes, Covington has a chance versus Adesanya. The pace he puts on, the wrestling he has, yeah. how technical he is. Yeah. He's uh, definitely got a tank. He definitely has the tank. Yeah, like it's gonna be very similar to the fight we saw today. I think like he's not as big, so because Adesanya is a big guy, so he's not gonna have the size advantage. But he's Adesanya is 185? Uh, 205. 205. Jeez. Oh, no, he's 185, but yeah. he's, he's fought at 205. Yeah, but we're, we're talking about him fighting him at 185. He's fi- fighting him at 185. Yeah, uh, yeah so he's a, but he's a big guy. Who, like I said, he fought at 205. So he got beat there. Yeah. he. But, that's where he went, went, for, went for the belt. Exactly. versus. Uh, he got beat there. But again, a guy, again, this is 
right, right, right. Covington will never fight at 205. Right. Ever. So that's where I'm like, I don't know. It's 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 a big difference where. Don't you think it's interesting that, okay, uh, let me ask you, do you think that um, Adesanya can be Usman? It's hard. It's hard because. I, I don't know. Is but it, you're saying that Kobe has more potential to be no, I think they Adesanya. Both do. They both do. I think Usman and Covington. I think if one beats him, the other one beats him too. Put it that way. I think Kobe wins. Kobe beats him. Usman definitely beats him. I don't think it's the other way around. I think if, if Usman beats him, Kobe beats him. I really do. You, you think they're so matched up? And I, I, I don't disagree 100%. I do think they're very, very closely matched up. Usman and Covington are very, very close. I think Usman, Usman is, is slightly exact, better. Exact, slightly exactly. Slightly better. Exactly. Exactly. But Covington is so close that I think whatever Usman can do. Well, I think Dana White said it. If Usman wasn't in this, this this division, in this sport, Kobe Covington would be the guy. So that's I think that's the next one. It's like Kobe Covington essentially, <clears throat> if... I don't think he wants the Usman fight. The best the best bet for Covington is fight Adesanya, which is a money fight. Yeah. Fight Burns. Fight Hamza. Fight wait, Masvidal. Fight Masvidal. Wait for him to retire. Wait for Usman to retire. And, and then, it's your yes, division. Yes. Yes, it's your division. How old is uh, Covington? Like 31, 32. Oh, he's got time. He's got time. So, like... It's your division. Essentially, do what DC did. <laughs> DC was the reigning. He he ruled through the through the light heavyweight division. Mm-hmm. But everybody knew that John Jones was just fucking up, and he was in trouble, yes, and he yes, wasn't yes, around. Yes. If John Jones was around, we all knew who the champion right, was. Right, right. It's the same thing that's going on right now with the one fifty five division. Like, there's a champion, and Justin Gaethje versus Oliveira are gonna have good fights and things like that. And and we respect the champion, but we, we know that Khabib, Khabib Williams, was around, yes, yes, Khabib, 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 Khabib would be Khabib. So I think the same thing. I mean, Covington is waiting for the same thing. There's you have big names to beat, and your legacy is gonna keep going, 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 going. Avoid Usman. So I think Hamza, yeah, he either has Covington or Usman, and uh, Burns. Burns has to pick from man, like. Everybody wants Masvidal. <laughs> you know, like, everybody wants Masvidal. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, uh, about my boy Masvidal, he, for some reason, he takes those fights. <laughs> like, you can take easier fights, bro. That's like, true. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think if, 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 if Masvidal was to take maybe two or three easier <laughs> fights, well, it's going to get him, needed. that is going to get him paid. Yes. It's, it not only gets us getting paid, but it gets him more credibility under his name. Because I think right now he doesn't have a lot of credibility. He, no, right now he's yeah. Right, he, right now he's on a losing streak. No, I'm telling you, I've always said it. Masvidal's way to path to the to the championship. There's one path, and that's go beat Wonder Boy, go beat Nate Diaz, go beat Nick Diaz, go beat Conor McGregor, and then hopefully Leon Edwards gets the title shot. Some gets the title somehow, and you go fight him. You think Conor McGregor would ever take that fight? Masvidal? Yeah. I don't think so. I, I don't think so because, or he might. I don't. know. I mean, he was talking about fighting Usman. I don't believe him. He was talking about it. He <laughs> was talking about him. it. These guys talk a lot. Like I don't believe him. Why would you do that? A lot it, of bark, no bite. It. I don't know about that, but it's like you already went through that fight versus Khabib. Now you're fighting this guy who's bigger than him. It's the same Shit. thing with a bigger. Khabib. And they don't they train together? Uh, they're friends. No, yeah. they have the same manager, but uh, okay, they don't train okay. together. Yeah, you already went through this fight. I don't think you want to go through it again. Is like, and you saw Masvidal, who is essentially Conor McGregor, uh, two feet bigger, and <laughs> you know what I mean. Like you saw Masvidal go through this fight, like who is essentially Conor McGregor, not two feet, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. five inches bigger, uh, heavier, like yes, yes, with better cardio. Like so, <laughs> you saw a Conor McGregor, uh, uh, people would say a slighter, better version of Conor McGregor, and Conor McGregor doesn't have the tank. He doesn't have Masvidal. No, he tank. doesn't have the tank. Yeah, he doesn't have Masvidal. Plus, tank. he's gonna be carrying more weight. And yes, and exactly, which is gonna lower the yes. tank. Yes. And he's a small guy. Masvidal, I'm sorry, McGregor fought at 145. Yes. At 145. He looked like crap he when he did like it. Cra- yeah, he looked like crap at one point. But again, going to 145 to 170 is a leap. 
It yes, matter how much yes, time yes, yes, yes. It's a leap. The guy's not a 170 um, guy. So he's never beat. He's never fought a guy at 170. That has you think Masvidal would ever go to 155 just to get the Conor McGregor fight? I don't think he can make it anymore. Okay, like, okay. He's too old. Like I don't think he can make it anymore. Uh, I don't I like. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. And and I think that's when 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 Connor will make uh take that fight. Uh, oh, absolutely. At one fifty five, he has a better chance because uh, uh, Masvidal's chin will be compromised. Yes. Yes. Masvidal's chin will be compromised. Uh, his cardio might be compromised. Yeah. All those things. So. I don't think so, but uh, moving on, Aljamain Sterling, Peter Young. Who does what? Like, uh, oh, Aljamain Sterling called out T.J. Dillashaw. That's TJ, the obvious correct, fight, correct. right? That's the obvious fight. T.J. Dillashaw, Aljamain Sterling, which to me is a good fight. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. T.J. may be a three-time world champion, man. Because he's a very good wrestler. But I don't know if he's that good to compliment, to be able to keep Aljermaine off. Are they both wrestlers? They both have a wrestling background, right? Yeah, now. But TJ Dillashaw is an incredible striker. Yeah. Like, incredible striker. He is yeah. so good at striking. I don't know if... I don't know. It's It, if, it's, it comes down to that. If... If TJ Dillashaw, but Sterling didn't do a lot of a lot a lot of striking in this fight. No, that's he's not going to strike with yeah. TJ Dillashaw. He's not. He's not going. So to he's going to do the same thing he did with Pierre Yan. He did today. Uh, but 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 it uh, worked. But it's not about it working. I'm talking about uh, with uh, who's who do you call it? What's his name? TJ Dillashaw. With Dillashaw. Dillashaw is going to have the ability to protect those shots. Well, Not only protect those shots, but do reversals. That's not a question. Because we thought Jan had the ability to protect those shots. And he did. His defense yeah. was not bad. What was it? Two out of 22? Two out of 22. Two out of 22. Those but two what? were yes. very impactful. Those two made the fight. Exactly. Those two made gave him the win. Those two made the difference. The thing is that he has so much control. Yeah. I mean, when he got the triangle around your body. Yes. And he had it hooked tight. He has so yeah. much control. So that's the question. Can he keep? Because let's say if he takes you down three times in three rounds, that may be the fight. That, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's. it's Mostly but, if he keeps you down the way that he did to you on. But I think the people who are in trouble are Jose Aldo and Dominic Cruz. Because those are the only ones left to fight this monster who just lost. And. That's true. <laughs> who do you, I think a Jan Aldo fight would be good. It would have. It already happened. It, Aldo got destroyed, really destroyed. Then who? Then that's who's next. Then that would mean it's Cruz, and yeah. I don't think Cruz can make a difference. He's not that. He's not strong enough. He's not big enough. Like he's a very good striker, and he might be able to outpoint him, but I don't think so. Like I don't know. Like and it's it's been documented. Cruz has trouble with softballs, so like mm. it's I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't think that. I, I think they give him Cruz. I think they give Jan Cruz. And then I, I, we were talking about like, Dillashaw Del, is going to get to. Because is it? He's been through it's everybody. Water. Is there water back there? He's been through everybody. Let me see UFC band and weight rankings. So because oh, we we believe that we believe that. Uh, Cruz and Aldo are the options, right? But if I'm not mistaken, Cruz is like seventh. Who's six through two? So Peter Yan is one. TJ Dillashaw is two. Jose Aldo. Corey Sanhagen. Corey Sanhagen mm. already fought Peter Yan. Rob Font can't fight Peter Yan. This guy may. Marab Bali, uh Bush, I'm not too familiar with that Bush division. Bill. He's good. He's very good. He he's a wrestler. I don't think he can be Peter Yan. And then it's Dominic Cruz, who is seventh. So I think the fight I want to watch is Jose Aldo Dominic Cruz. When do you think the rematch happens? Jose Aldo. No, Sterling versus Yan. Because there's gonna be a rematch. I think Yan wins one more, and then he fights a champion. Like, yeah. I, do you think the fight happens if uh, 
if Sterling loses versus Dillashaw? Oh, no. Jan's fighting the champion. Jan, Jan beats one more, and then he fights the champion. Now, the question is, who's that one guy? Like, who will take the fight? Cause yeah, it's about taking it. Because here's a question. The name matters. Yes, it does. If if Peter Jan beats Rob Font, does that mean something? He has to be. Rob a- Font just lost to Jose Aldo. Yeah. And bad. Um, but but Jose Aldo already lost to Peter Jan, so. Exactly. So yeah. if you beat Rob Font, does it really mean something? Anybody, anybody, who, anybody who Aldo fights already goes down in. So that's why I think he, if, if he beats Jose Aldo, who he already beat, does it mean right. something? So that's why there's two names that I think will mean, which will be. I think the only, how was the Aldo fight? Was it a good fight? No, it, it was a mauling. Okay, who who has he fought that's been a gr- good fight, like Nobody. the one he did Sterling? Nobody. Then yeah, I mean. Nobody. Corey Sanhagen was probably the best fight. I think I think the only one that might take it is the one who he hasn't fought in the top five. Which is uh, yeah, Marab. Yeah, and I think he'll take uh, it just for uh, the the, Bajvili. the Bajvili. possibility of fighting for the for the title. Because I think I, if if he if he fights him and he beats him, he's gonna be like, okay, I deserve to have a a, t- a title shot. Yeah, I think it's him or Dominic Cruz, which is crazy because they're six and seven on the rankings. So, yeah. and I mean Dominic Cruz is a better name. Oh, the biggest name in the history yeah. of the, the division. So, so I think. But Dominic Cruz is too smart to take that fight. So that's why it goes to the other guy. So Dominic Cruz says, I don't got to take this fight. I can beat Jose Aldo, yeah. who's a bigger name than Peter Yan, yeah. hasn't done more. Jose Aldo may be a bigger name than Dominic Cruz, which that means a lot. So it's like, not in this but, division. But, but he's only a bigger name because of the McGregor thing. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Because he's... After 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 Max Holloway, it's it's Jose Aldo and that. Well, Volkanovski's getting close now. Sure. But Jose Aldo is is the probably the second best featherweight of all time. So yeah, in this division is Dominic Cruz and T.J. Dillashaw. Those are the two legends, right? Yes. T.J. Dillashaw. Well, Dominic Cruz then T.J. Dillashaw are the two legends of of this. T.J. Dillashaw is fighting for the champion. Dominic Cruz is too smart. I don't think he'll fight on. I think he's like, if I can skip this guy, right? I can f- beat Aldo. Yeah, there's no point in him taking the fight, losing credibility. Losing, exactly. Losing, yeah. And then I, I already beat TJ Dillashaw. That's who I want to fight again. Right, right, right. So it's, I think, I don't think Cruz will take that fight. I think. Yeah, yeah the logic is there. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't. And and that's why I don't understand Nate Diaz and, and Jorge Masvidal, those guys who are like, why are you fighting so tough fights? Like, I get it. You're tough and everything, but sometimes but you got to play tough. the game. Yeah, you're not that tough. Sometimes you got to play the game. Like, play the game. Take the easiest fight available. And then... Blood your name up. But that's what... Uh, what's his name? Rainbow hair? Oh, yeah. Go, Sean O'Malley. Yeah, so yeah, that's what Sean O'Malley is doing. Sean O'Malley does take... They're the building game. him. They're building him. And I, I mean... I like the guy. I like O'Malley. I don't think he's there yet. But I like we'll him. We'll never know unless he takes a real fight. Let's be honest. Because the his, pro, his but he's never going to get to that point unless he takes a real fight. I mean, he's all money right now, but he he's not going to get to the to I, the levels of like McGregor you know, status, which they're trying to build him to until he gets the bigger fights, until he starts actually so earning the titles. Faster, because Sean O'Malley, Sean O'Malley, I think is playing the long game because let's say his next fight is probably Cody Garbrandt. Do you think he beats Cody Garbrandt? He may, but is Cody Garbrandt that big of a name now? He's I lost mean, six of his last seven fights. But just the name itself is is big enough. But I'm like... A year ago, he was the shit, though. Who? Cody, Cody Garbrandt? Yeah. Cody Garbrandt's still a star. Yeah. But you know what's crazy? You know why Cody Garbrandt's a star? Because he beat Dominic Cruz. Oh, okay. And sense. and that's really the only real fight right, he's right, won. Right, right. And he won it dominantly. But what a lot of people like in the ins and outs, they're saying he was in a camp and Team Alpha Male who have fought Dominic Cruz 11 times and lost every single time. Now, you know what it is for a coach to see you 10 times? Like, that, you know how many times, like, out of 11 fights, you win one? That's probably what happened there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they saw him so many times that. 
you're preparing for this guy 11 times. Right, right, right. Eventually, you're happy. Yeah, to get yeah. Him. The, the <laughs> odds are in your favor. Yes, eventually, yeah. you have to get him. You just, you just got lucky at the fact that the one you got him in was that fight exactly. that was televised. And not only did you get him with one, you didn't get him with one guy. You sent different guys at him. You sent Joe Benavidez, Josh Emmett, you sent TJ Dillashaw, Uriah Faber, Cody Gar. These are all big names. He went through all of them multiple times. Yeah. He, he, he beat. Uh, Joe Benavides twice. He beat Uriah Faber twice. He, I think he beat like he went through a lot of your. He went through your whole squad. Yeah, he did. So you're you're eventually like, come on, one of one of our guys has to get him. Do they do events that aren't televised? Like, do they have like fights no. that count towards the record that that, that aren't like? Those are the no, but uh, no, that, is that, not in the UFC. Cruz versus no. Alpha Male came before the UFC. They've been fighting. That camp has been fighting Cruz for a decade. <laughs> no and, shit. And yeah, they're, they're, he, they used to hate him. He made his career off of beating that 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 camp. There's like if you go on YouTube, you don't even put Cruz versus a fighter. You put Cruz versus Alpha Male, which is a camp. He beat the shit out of all of them. He beat all of them <laughs> until it got to Cody Garbrandt. Wow. And and then off of that name, Cody Garbrandt. Cody Garbrandt's always he goes on every and like yeah. Uh, Wow, you saw what I did to Cruz, and this guy's not as good as Cruz. Like that, which he's right. Like Cruz is the legend of the division. You have that name on your belt, and so he can use that name to every time he fights a guy. He's like when he fought Asunza, Asunza is not as good as Cruz. When he fought Munoz, you just saw what Cruz did to Munoz. Yeah. It was embarrassing. Yeah. So and but Munoz beat Garbrandt. So it's just like the. It's weird how that shit can happen, bro. It's almost like saying that's not even relevant. Like, no, yeah, yeah, I know you might have beat the guy who's not as good as that guy, but that doesn't mean that he's not going to come and beat the shit out of you, dude. You no, know what I mean? MMA, MMA math is not real. Like, just because I beat you doesn't mean you could beat him. Like, Wait. yeah, it's, it's so much because emotion lot, and little things that go into the fight. It's a lot of, about the styles, too. I mean, that's, like, the styles make the fights. And yeah. if him and I have a style that clutches versus you and I that have a style that that uh like where that our complements each other yeah exactly then, right, the way our styles work together yeah. i swing and i don't fucking hit you because yeah. you're you know and what I mean? that's why i think for example my favorite fighters are for example like i was so shocked that that jan got beat because he's a well-rounded guy correct right the war on the guys everything yeah uh tj dillashaw the reason he's a legend he can do everything yeah. dominic cruz can do everything henry cejudo <laughs> could do everything um uh, uh, Volkanovski could do everything. Uh, Max Holloway could do everything. Those guys can do everything. It's crazy that right now the guy's on top. Uh, Usman is getting there, but you yeah. wouldn't say he's a guy who could do everything. He's a grappling heavy guy. And the reason why heavyweight who just won? Who? The heavyweight that just won? Who's the heavyweight that just won? Um. Oh, um... Uh, Engano. Engano. The reason why he did win was because he showed some ground game. He finally, yeah. Yeah. He, uh, and what he was a guy who. Could, but it's crazy. Now the guys on top seem to be the guys who were, are getting well rounded, but are not really well rounded. Like, no. again, Covington, as a beast of it he is, he's not, a, I don't think you would call him a well rounded guy. He's just dominating off of what he does. Yes. And it used to be like the best will be the ones who could do everything. Now it's the best is like the ones who can do one thing really, really crazy, good. Crazy, yeah. yeah. Which today Sterling beyond with one thing. Yep, yep. So that's what's crazy. Which like, is the one thing he does really, really exactly. well. Exactly. But okay, so uh, Jan, move on to the last thing. I don't know what's next for the Korean Zombie. Let's be honest. Like the Korean Zombie, who do you throw, man? Like you. It's it's such a difference between the top two and everybody else. Mm -hmm. I guess Kelvin Cater, maybe. I, I don't think you throw him at anything. I think somebody's gonna have to. I, don't know. I think he becomes a gatekeeper. I think yeah. the, the next guy coming up is gonna fight the Korean Zombie, yeah. and we're gonna find out if if he's gonna remain the gatekeeper or is he done. Like, uh, because I don't think he's gonna become like he can't beat Ortega, he can't beat Holloway, he can't beat Volkanovski. I don't think he could beat Yair Rodriguez. I don't like. The, he's gonna be in the next month though. He's like it, with yeah, with no with no. Appeal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Other than his name being cool. Yeah, like with with no appeal, like it's it's that's kind of what it is. And Volkanovski is in a similar place. He's in the same situation as uh, Usman. Exactly, but it's a difference because 
those two fights have been close. Like, there hasn't been a clear winner. Okay, the judges gave it to him. Great. He won. And the... Who, Co- who, uh, who clear winner? Who, 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 Covington, who? Usman, I don't think anybody had any doubt. Usman won both those fights. Okay. There was no two opinions on that. He knocked them out in one. Like, right, right, right. Right? So, the second fight, so many people were saying, well, that's a robbery. Like, what the hell happened? Like, the second fight was like... Even Dana White came out and asked everybody in the room, who here gave that fight to Volkanovski? Nobody raised their hand. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that wasn't a reaction on Usman versus Covington. Right, right, right. This one was different. Uh, and I, but and if if I'm Dana White, man, Volkanovski and Max Holloway can fight every weekend for all I care. Like, <laughs> Volkanovski, dude, he's a fucking beast. Yes. Like, yes. that shit was on point. Like, yes. Like he was perfect. It was like, yeah. and I don't even know that much about. He fighting. put on a clinic, but yeah, he put dude, on a like, clinic. It was like he was he was like showing his ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The guy was just standing there, and he was fucking like he did something. He 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 jabbed him, straight jabbed him, and then like on his retreat, on his way back, right hooked his ass. Yeah. It was like stepping back, got f- way far away from him. By the time he was done with the right hook, it was like all time so perfect. It was crazy. It's, it, 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 it was just a clinic. So yeah, it's it's Max yeah. Holloway, obviously for Volkanovski. And if after how many times have they fought? Twice. And and has he Max Holloway won once? No, they they Max Holloway won both. He's but, just Max Holloway is such a, I mean, for the lack of a better word, a fighter. Such a beast. Yes. He's, he's, he's lanky crazy. like you the zombie something guy. About though, Max right? Holloway? Yes. You fight Max Holloway. You don't fucking fight for a year. Look, he, <laughs> yes. he fought. Yes. He fought Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega disappeared until he came back versus yes. the Korean zombie. It was like two years before he fought. No shit. He fought Calvin Cater. We couldn't fucking find him. Yeah. We couldn't <laughs> find Calvin Cater. Where'd he go? Like, he comes back after a year. He fought Yair Rodriguez. Where's Yair Rodriguez? Nobody can find him. Like, <laughs> basically, whoever fights Max Holloway, you fight that motherfucker. Max Holloway is playing hide and go seek with all these guys, and he's the one counting. And as soon as the the timer's done, everybody hides. Yeah, <laughs> you fight you fight Max Holloway, and you're like, and then the guy he beats, cause he doesn't knock you out. It's crazy. He hits you so hard for 25 minutes, but doesn't knock you out. So he he, he hits puts, you hard enough for it to hurt yeah. and hurt for a By while. By the end of it, you're wishing not, you were knocked exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> So that's what I noticed. Those three guys, he fought them back to back to back. And those guys, Max Hollow, like, uh, Brian Ortega, it's crazy. This happened. He fought Max Holloway with a head full of hair, got bald, came back with a head full of hair. That's how long it was <laughs> that he didn't fight versus after the, after the Max Holloway fight. Lost his shit and grew Calvin it back. Calvin Cater, we forgot Calvin Cater existed. He fought him in January of 2021. January of 2021. He fought in January of 2022. <laughs> a whole ass year. <laughs> yes. So it's like that's what happens when you fight. And now Yair Rodriguez, they fought at the beginning of what last year. I don't remember. Yair Rodriguez hasn't fought since. And and I'm telling you, these guys are monsters. The ones I'm mentioning. Yeah, like you don't want to fight Yair Rodriguez. <laughs> that that's a, it's a Mexican guy. Just just put that in. fighting Mexican guys are it's a pain in the it's ass. Like a Brandon Moreno. Yes, it's a pain in the ass, and he just puts him away. So it's like Max Holloway Volkanovski can fight every like you know how I'm basketball. What, what's Max? <laughs> what's I don't know what you mean. What's Max Holloway ranked? He's number one. <laughs> Max Holloway? Yeah. You mean number two? Number one. Well, they're, they're, okay, there's champion one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. yeah, he's number one. So, and he's been number one for the last, he's been champion or number one for 10 years. So, it's that's crazy. That's it, cool. That's an, another Covington uh, Wisman situation, exactly. But this one's a little harder because yes. we don't really know who the best is. And over there, we know who the best is, right? right. Over here, we don't really know that, but. Look, tonight was very fun. I enjoyed tonight. It was oh, yeah, very it was fun. cool. It was yeah. a good experience, man. I I enjoyed interacting with everybody. Yeah, that was badass. That was yeah. that was probably the most fun I've had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're really gonna cool. do this every pay per view event. Every pay per view event. I already sent every date to Tone. <laughs> for the end of the year, till the end of the year. So, we're gonna be here. Please be here with us. Uh, 
we're talking we're gonna do some more things in between we don't want to just you know live stream once a month but these long ones we're gonna do once a month but we're gonna try to do more live streams throughout you know we shoot a regular podcast that is not just based on your ufc not maybe maybe what we'll do is we'll do a a live stream of our trivias i think uh, that i think trivias. that would be a good, good idea uh, also like for example you know there we like sports here so there's different sporting events oh, we yeah. could do the world cup is coming yes it is you know so i think yes, the it world it's streaming the world cup it'll, uh the nba finals are coming next month right or is it uh, april and uh, november december so uh -huh. we still got time for that uh the nba finals yeah. we can watch a, a lot of the major events major uh, major, major events yeah. you know major uh, sporting uh, events uh, i think yeah, it would be we, uh, could, we could do that and and yeah just try to live stream the ones that are very popular we're yeah. gonna try to live stream those and like louis said we're gonna i think also doing like a pre live stream post live stream of our podcast wouldn't be a bad idea oh yeah that's not a bad idea so different things we're gonna keep we live can. streaming but these long ones we're gonna try to do once a month maybe twice a month on a special event and things like that yeah Because, you know, we do have, like, other things going on. But thank you for being here with us. We Hopefully, appreciate it, guys. Uh, for the next one, Ray has said that he's going to be here. Hopefully, E.T. will yeah, be here. And go. the entire team Maybe will be Maybe we'll have here. a full house that next time. Yes. And, uh, and, and look, if you're out there, if you're in the city of Houston, and you want to come here and be with us. Hit us up. Hit us up. Let's yeah. do it. Let's have, you know. Slide in the DMs. Luis is rich. He, we, got, we got here drinks. We got food. We, we got, got Wi-Fi. We got we got Wi-Fi. We got Wi-Fi. <laughs> if you we knew sure the story behind the Wi-Fi, it took a we while. Sure we sure do have Wi-Fi. But uh, thank you for. We went through two channels before we actually went. <laughs> 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 before we actually got the Wi-Fi. All right, so thank you for being here. Thank you for um, uh, participating in yes. the entire night. There were some people who were with us the entire night. Yes. That's the coolest thing, man. I did. Uh, that's 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 really cool to have that. That shows know. that some people really click. So, some yes. people really liked it. Some people enjoyed yeah. it, and and that's badass. That stayed with us the entire night. So thank you. If you're one of those individuals that came from TikTok, came from Instagram, came from Twitch, let us know down in the comments. If yeah, you're not, this is the first time that you're watching us, go ahead and write that in the comments as well. Let us know what you liked about this video. Like, let us know what you liked about any of the other videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the videos. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the other channels as well at the Rec Crew Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Hit that like button. Hit the follow button. Uh, like all the videos. Anything else? All right. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Bye. Peace. Royal Vibe Studios.